Hi guys, welcome back to another DIY video. So we are going to give this bathroom a little makeover. This is what it looks like before. Everything you see came standard with the house. We didn't choose any upgrades for this bathroom. The only thing we did was replace the flooring with vinyl planks when we first moved in. This bathroom has a separate shower toilet area. Right now it looks a little sad. No one really uses this bathroom, but it's about time that we do something with it. And this is what it looks like after. I framed the mirror. I added in the glass bubble pendant lights. I also added in these hanging egg-shaped wall vases. I added the accent walls using a double trim method on the lower third of the wall and using diagonal shiplap on the rest of the wall. I created a simple abstract wave painting and hung it up on the accent wall. Inside the bathtub area, I did the same style accent wall. And I also replaced the shout and curtain to complement the ceiling height. So if you haven't watched my shiplap video with plywood, click on the upper right corner to check it out. I use the same materials to create the accent wall for this bathroom, which is the four by eight feet plywood sheet that is one eighth of an inch thick. I first started on the lower third of the wall making my double layer trim wall. I honestly don't know what the style is called, but I saw it in this house once and I loved it and I thought it would look great in this bathroom. So I'm just recreating it in my own ways. It's super easy. For the first layer, I cut my plywood into four and a half inch wide strips, nailed them onto the wall starting from the bottom. To create a divider between my lower third wall and the upper wall that I will be doing diagonal shiplap on, I put a square trim piece that is 3 4 of an inch thick and half an inch deep as a little ledge divider. Then I nail my upper piece, and then the side pieces. To create the double layer effect, I cut my second layer strips into 3.5 inch wide, laid that on top of the first layer to create a double trim look. For this lower third section, I decided to divide the wall vertically into two squares so I added a plank in the middle and gave them the same layer effect. Once everything's in place, I apply primer first before paint or else the plywood would soak in all the paint. I then started on my upper wall I decided on diagonal shiplap because it adds a little more modern feel to the whole entire wall and because the lower third wall is already somewhat traditional looking. Also because I didn't want to go super modern or super traditional so that's why I decided to split the wall so I can have both styles. I used the same plywood material. I love the diagonal look. The only challenging part is measuring and cutting both ends at a 45 degree angle. I used tile spacer to space out each plank to create that shiplap look. And this is what it looks like once all the pieces are nailed in. The surround edges are not perfect, but that's okay. I'm going to put a trim piece along the corners to give it a finished look later on. I would recommend priming all planks first before cutting and nailing them onto the wall because trying to get primer in the cracks is not fun. After priming the planks, I fill in all the nail holes with spackle before paint. I decided to paint the upper wall black to contrast with the bottom white wall and also because black is one of our interior accent color. For the edges, I used quarter round trim pieces to close off the corners. To give everything a finished look, I caulked all the edges of the bottom wall. Then I put back the towel rack. I created a quick abstract wave painting on canvas for the wall.
And this is what the finished wall looks like. I left the shiplap lines on the black wall white, but later I decided to paint them all black. To finish off the bathroom, I decided to frame the mirror with a skinny 3 4 of an inch pine wood stop molding. I first cut them at 45 degree angles at both ends, then I painted them. I then used 3M double sided tape to stick them onto the mirror to give it a framed look. And to finish off the whole bathroom, I hung these cool pendant lights above the sinks. I still need an electrician to come in and wire them. I also got these cool glass X-shaped wall vases with some pothos in there to complete the whole look of this area. And I'll have links to all these items below in the description. This bathroom has a separate tub shower area, so I did the same accent wall in there. Because it's this area is kind of small, however, we have somewhat of a tall ceiling, so to maximize the space, I bought extra long shower curtain and moved the shower rod up to make the space seem bigger than what it really is. And that's pretty much it for this bathroom. I loved how everything turned out. It didn't cost me a lot of money at all to turn this bathroom into what it is. I love that I could keep this bathroom achromatic with a splash of colors here and there. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any questions about anything. Don't forget to subscribe. More videos coming for sure. And until the next one.